hello guys so today i will be talking about you know some of the tips about how you can win how you can increase your chances to win kgsp scholar uh, first of all i'm majid i'm a kgsp scholar and i'm from the batch 2015 i did my masters i graduated luckily finally and i'm now working in one of the very good companies in south korea okay let's come to the topic today uh, how you can increase your chances to apply to win the kgsp scholarship First of all guys most of the questions which are asked are about you know should we apply for university track or should i apply for the embassy track if you guys have not watched my earlier video you can go and check it out i i showed you the whole process how you can apply and then i showed you you know there are two tracks embassy track and university track and there are you know both have pros and cons there are plus point and negative points of both the both the tracks how i applied i applied through embassy track now again guys all the tips which i will give you is totally you know my personal opinions i'm not an expert of course i'm not a niied or i'm not a korean government member i can say something wrong also but whatever i'm saying it's totally my personal opinion you can ask other kgsp scholars also and maybe they are they are you know better than me of course maybe and maybe they have you know different opinions so i applied through embassy track and in my opinion guys in my opinion uh, if you have done lots of research if you are you know all the time if you are very nerdy guy if you have done all the time research if you have published very so many research papers it's better to apply through university track try to talk to the professors and try to tell him like you know you have these many uh, research articles written you have these many you know in the uh, how to say like see um, <clears throat> you have so many papers written and uh, show them you know your work also like what are, have you been working tell them you are interested in your work and send him you know your stuff uh, so if you have lots of research go for the embassy track but if you have less research but if you have lots of cultural experience for example in case of me i i won uh, you know american government scholarship it was cultural exchange to usa so i had that very big plus point with me um, I also won presidential award from the president of Pakistan, so that was again very plus point for me. So and I have also worked with United Nations, even when I was in twenty years old. Uh, so that was again very plus point. You know, like they know this guy is you know very culturally, uh, very active, very active in the society and all the stuff. So for me, if you are more of you know like culturally very active guy, you know you love to do a very so much extracurricular activities. I would say go to the embassy track because those professors they will prefer to have you know someone with them who is very good at the research right who is very good with the studies of course i was good at studies i was like 3.8 scholarship gpa but most of the time they want a guy who is very good at research but embassies they would like you know a guy who is also very active in the society because they also want you know the guy who go there make some cultural bridges um so that's it guys if you that's one of the question like if you are act very extracurricularly active go to the embassy if you are nerdy guy if you love doing research go for the embassy track and that's my personal opinion